Hey guys, I'm Double Art Angel. Welcome to my channel. In this week's video, we are gonna make a live action version of the beloved child cartoon Biker Mice from Mars. Now, if you like my kind of art and wonder where I get the stock, it's from Envato Elements. Get your own subscription with the link here somewhere in the screen. But with no further ado, let's go right into the speed art video. So here we go guys, I started by making this night sky of a Chicago kind of background because well biker mice from Mars they landed in Chicago and that's what I wanted this to become. Anyway I started making the base composition by adding a truck where I was adding also grease pit after I had composed him. So this dude that I got from art station I used as grease pit and used a neuro filter to uh, make him angry. When I was done with grease pit to give a feel that someone is driving the truck, I added a silhouette and after this I started to cut out the basic motorcycle models to make throttle, moto and winnie. I started with throttle and uh, I used this Harley Davidson motorcycle guy and I made sure to use very athletic bodies uh, in the color of basically sort of the way throttle is so he's this kind of tan color. I wanted to make these motorcycle mice with actual mice. So the head is from mice stock or mouse stock and the rest is well, basically human. And this is how I did with also with Winnie and with Moda. I remember from the reference that all the guys have different kind of genes and then I started to add together the basics of the references of throttle, his glasses and so on. When I was done with Troll, I started making Charlene or Charlie Davidson, the girl that's helping these guys always in the cartoon. So I found this super great stock image of a woman mechanic model that is, well, basically stargazing at Troll when she sits behind. I decided to make these headlamps from scratch. So what I used was a simple shape and then added some metal texture and this kind of old school glass texture and made it the headlamp. And I will do this also with the other characters.
So next up we have Winnie, and he's white in his with his color. He's also a little smaller than the two others, but he's jacked up as well as the others. So I started comping him together also in the same way as uh, Throttle, except for keeping in mind all the basic uh, details that the references have. Like this metal shield thing on his head, for example. And by copying the layer that I started from adding it above everything else, I got to get this effect that, for example, the windshield is uh, see-through. Last but certainly not least, Modo is this grey mouse and he's the biggest one of them all and he has this bionicle arm also and also he lost his eye in a battle in Mars so he has this eye patch. So I started to make this arm first after, after I got the base composition and after this I started to add all these cybernetics that he has on his body. Make sure to keep in mind not to copy exactly the cartoons, but making it more realistic. I decided to skip some stuff from the actual cybernetics. Like he has this plate on his breast, for example. I just decided to use some kind of breastplate instead. <laughs> When I was done with the guys, I started to make the composition look like it's action, full-on action pack. And I decided to put this explosion behind everything because it's like a backlight of sorts. Because I knew that I wanted headlights in the night and that would make all the characters very dark and silhouette if there wasn't any backlight. So I kept in mind all the time all the lightings that I was about to make in this picture. Now I decided that Grispit needed some kind of weapon, but I wanted it to keep pretty simple, so I added this bike to him. Police helicopter, don't ask me why the police are after these guys. They are good guys, so I don't know, I thought it was fitting adding it in this composition. Highlights I made so that all the rim lighting is based on the explosion from behind and then I added some smoke overlays and my famous gradient layer that binds it all together.
After this I added some small additional details to it and then the camera roll and after this we were done. There you have it guys, that's the speed art video of this week, but stay tuned for more 90s live action speed art videos. There will be many more. To give an idea what types of art you can wait for, we have Powerpuff Girls, Beavis and Butthead, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Samurai Jack, Johnny Bravo, Captain Planet, Dragon Ball Z and He-Man. Stay tuned for these videos 2024. We, I will start making these live action artworks. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you like my kind of art, don't forget to like and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell for next week's video so you know when it's out. And you can follow me also on Instagram at double underscore archangel or the buyant art at double archangel anyway i'm double archangel and i'll catch you in the next one